school year did not start off right for some parents in North Kendall Parish after finding out their kids were left behind at the school due to busing problems. Tonight, they let their concerns be heard in front of the school board. NBC6's Alexander Meacham was there and shares what happened. Alex. Yeah, that's right, Dan. So parents with children at Herndon Magnet received a text from their principal saying their ch kids may or may not make it on the bus to go to their after-school daycare at Trinity Heights or St. Pius, depending on how crowded the bus would be. It alarmed working parents, especially after nine kids were left behind yesterday. I'm here today to bring to light the injustice that is going on in North Caddo Parish. Not only do we have buses without ACs and 110-degree degree weather, but we have children that are being lined up every afternoon to see if they're going to make the cut to get on a bus. Herndon Magnet parents found out their kids may not be taken as normally to their after-school daycare and left to wait outside in the heat. Nine children were left on Monday, and the principal and teachers drove them to Trinity Heights. They've been transporting these kids there for 10 or more years, and it's never been an issue. Those parents voice their concerns to school officials and say they feel forgotten about being so north in the parish. First of all, Trinity Heights should never have been advertised on that. <laughs> The transportation director says they're short nine bus drivers, something they plan to alleviate by next week, with six new bus drivers starting. We're, we're doing everything we can, and I think it'll get better if they just give us a little time to get the new buses, get a few more drivers. They left the meeting with a temporary solution for a bus driver who works at Trinity Heights to make a double route to pick up the kids who could not fit. While well, by October, they'll roll out their new buses that are larger with AC. I look forward to the school board solution in October, and of course, if it doesn't come, we'll hold them accountable. And the transportation director says they badly do need new bus drivers, and their goal is to cover all the 280 routes in the parish with 30 substitute bus drivers. So they're just asking parents to give them more time. Back to you. Certainly understand their frustration. Thank you very much, Alex.